Hello, my name is Robert Parker, and if you're watching this video right now, there's a good chance that you probably suffer from kidney stones. Or maybe you're just curious about whether you actually have them in the first place. And I'm making this video in the hopes that whoever sees it won't have to put up with the years of excruciating pain that I had to deal with. If you have kidney stones, um, usually you'll notice symptoms like... Here, I, I have a little list here, so let me read this off. Uh, severe pain in the side, back, and below the ribs. Pain that spreads to your lower abs and groin. Pain that comes in waves and fluctuates in intensity. Pain when you urinate, uh, which is usually the most common one. Pink, red, or brown urine. Cloudy or foul-smelling urine. Nausea and vomiting. A persistent urge to urinate. Urinating more often than usual, which can lead to waking up at night to urinate. Uh, fever and chills if an infection is also present. Now, you might see a doctor and hear various different things about this problem. And a lot of doctors I saw said that my stones were probably small and would pass on their own. But month after month, I kept dealing with this pain and it was getting worse and worse. And I was seeing blood in my urine. Um... And I, I kept telling my doctor about this, and he just said, drink more water, um, try to flush out the stones, because they should leave on their own. And if the pain gets worse, we'll put you on some pain medicine. And I, I was kind of thinking, like, is this really all they can do for kidney stones? And he, he did, he mentioned how um, they could do surgery and all this, but, well, what wound up happening is I wound up dealing with this pain for three years. And my doctor told me even if I had surgery, there was a good chance that the stones might just come right back. So it got to the point where I couldn't deal with this anymore. I, I was afraid to have surgery because I felt like if I get surgery and the stones come back and I have to deal with this after surgery, um, I'm going to be really angry. So... I basically went on a research spree and started searching Google for anything and everything I could find about kidney stones. And I wound up finding um, this guy online whose name is Joe Barton. And he had this report that he was charging for online. And um, I wasn't really feeling his website at first. But I wound up buying the report because I was desperate. And I was going through it. And he had this recommendation about mixing a very specific beverage um, with a very specific vegetable and making this into a concoction that you drink. Now, I don't, I never like really believe in Chinese herbal remedies. Um, you know, some people believe in like homeopathic medicine and all that. But the point is, the chemistry behind this guy's um, this technique he uses. If there's one thing I understand, it's chemistry because that's what I took in college, and this made perfect sense to me. And I tried it out. Um, and I have not been having any pain now for months. So if anybody's dealing with this problem, and if you have tried a lot of different things, I'm telling you, pick up this guy's report. I'll leave the link for it in the description of this video. And honestly, give this a thorough shot because I think this will definitely work um, for you. I was going through excruciating pain for three years, and it I, I had no idea what to do, so um, if, if you're dealing with this, I I feel so sorry for you. I know what you're going through, but please give this a shot because uh, it worked for me. I know it could work for you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I hope I could help someone with this video. Um, but thanks for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.